Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and uh, in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I want to talk about custom default settings. Now, when you first open up Cinema 4D, or when you open up Cinema 4D in general, you'll have your project settings displayed here, and you may have a routine of going through and changing a load of stuff. So for me, I usually um, put this on 24 frames a second. I might even want my default object color to be a gray blue, so when you create something, it's this color. Um, I may even want to change some render settings as well. So I might want my render settings to match my project FPS. So let's go do that. Um, so I usually use physical, um, maybe have adaptive and have it on automatic with a 15% error threshold. And that's it. But the problem with this is uh, I have to do this every time I load up Cinema 4D. So if I close Cinema 4D now and then reopen it, we can see in the project settings my FPS is back to 30. The colors, uh, the object colors back to what it was and the render settings are back to um, what it was as well. It's on standard now, not phys physical. And even if I switch over to physical, um, these settings are back to their defaults. So how can we set things up as we want? So every time we open up Cinema 4D, it's exactly as we want it and we don't have to go through this. Well, there's a really easy way to do that. So let's actually change all this so it is how we want. So like I said, I like 24 frames a second and I like this to be a gray blue. Uh, I should note I'm using Cinema 4D R21. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're using older versions, this will still work for that as well. So, okay, we've set those things up. Let's go to the render settings, physical. I want this uh, uh, automatic and 15% error the threshold. And also my output as well. It always um, defaults to this. And the frame rate here is wrong, so I'm gonna put that at 24 frames a second. In fact, there's a preset 24, 1080. So, there we go, 1920 by 1080, and it's at 24 frames a second, and that's how I want it. My physical settings are correct as well now. Okay, so if we want this for when we open up Cinema 4D, all we have to do is go to Edit, Preferences, so we get this, and then click this Open Preferences folder, and it should open up this page here. Now all I want here is the path. So if I click up the top of the window there and copy that path, I can now close this window. And all we have to do is go to File, Save Project As, put in this location, as you can see it's already in there, and then just save the C4D file and name it new.c4d and then save that there. So that's everything. Now, if we close down Cinema 4D and then reopen it again, now you'll see that the FPS is 24 frames a second. Our default object color has remained the same. And if we open our render settings, you can see it's set to physical and all our physical settings have come across and our output is exactly what we had it set to when we left Cinema 4D. Um, there's plenty of other settings that you can change as well and save within that file. Um, so, you know, experiment, do what you want to do. You could even have an object in the scene for when you first load up as well. Uh, something you'll notice as well, if we look at the, um, the title of our C4D file, it doesn't say new. So if you go to save, save project here, it will open up kind of like you said, save as. So if you do hit that save project, it won't just overwrite the new file that you've got there. It'll ask you where you want to save the file. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.